Hello friends, in today's session we will learn about H index. In this session we will see what the H index is and how to evaluate it. Like in the journals, we talk of impact factor. Impact factor is something that gives the weightage to the journal. It is used to give the ranking to the journal. Similarly, the H index or the author index is used to evaluate the author's or a researcher's contribution in the research domain. Here comes the definition. So it is an index that quantifies both the actual scientific productivity and the apparent scientific impact. That means this index is basically evaluates the researcher's actual innovations and his or her contribution in the research domain. So if any author is having the H index 40, it means that 40 of his published papers has been cited by the others at least 40 times. Or if I say if a researcher is having 5 papers and each of the papers is being cited by minimum 5 times, then this researcher is having the H index 5. We have certain advantages with the H index. This index is intended to measure the simultaneously the quality and the sustainability of the scientific output. So here the keyword is sustainability of the scientific output. So this index not only measures the quality of the work but also motivates the researchers to continuously publish the good work. That means if a researchers if a researcher has been published a one good paper, for example, and that paper has cited, let's say, 10 times, and the same researcher is having nine more papers, which has no citations at all, then the H index for this researcher is only one. Means H index motivates the researchers to keep on publishing a good work to increase his uh, H index value. By writing a one good papers and if increasing the citation on the same on a single paper does not increase the H index value for any researcher. The second advantage is it is much less affected by the methodological papers. We have certain areas where we are proposing some techniques, some algorithms, some approximations, uh, calculations are there. Now these type of papers are mostly cited. As you compare to other empirical papers, these papers have mostly deferred or cited by the other researchers. So it does not affect the H index value because the H index says that to find that for, for author to increase the H index value, he has to keep on publishing a good research work. If he has published one algorithmic paper, whose index, whose citation has keep on increasing year by year, it does not going to increase or help the H index for that author. There are certain criticisms are associated with the H index and widely it is found that the two more widely found criticisms by the researchers are the H index gives the book the same count as the article making it difficult to compare scholars in the field that are more book oriented as the humanities. The first criticism is associated with the H index is it gives the equal weightage to the book as well as to the research articles. It has been found that the books has some books have used as a textbook or a reference book and these are mostly cited by other authors in their work. So some authors, researchers feel that the research papers and the book should not be equally counted. But when we calculate the H index, the counting for the book citation as well as for the paper citations is taken as equal. So this is one criticism that is uh, associated with the H index. The other is the H index does not account for the number of authors of a paper. This is the other criticism or you can say a drawback that is identified by the different researchers. Let's say uh, 
there's a uh, one author who has uh, published and let's say three other authors have jointly published the five papers so we have one authors published a single author published five papers and the three authors jointly written the five other papers and each are have each is each are having the h index 5 for their work so this is actually uh, some researchers feels that if the paper is shared by different if uh, by many authors the h index should not be given to them equally but it should be divided among them but as per the h index calculation each of the papers of each of the papers each of the authors of the given paper has giving the same h index value so here you can see we have this is the profile for dr ashish Seth. Here you can see the research details. These are the list of papers, and uh, it is giving the citation index that the, this paper is cited by 15 other peoples, and this paper is cited by 12. This has a citation 7. This is a citation 6. That means this paper is referred by seven other researchers. This is the summary. Cited total citations are 56 h index is 5 that means 5 of his papers is cited by a minimum 5 times for example 1 2 3 4 5 so these 5 papers are cited by a minimum 5 times so if you see this paper this is number 6 okay so if it gets one more citation then the h index for this author will be 6 and i10 index means among all the published paper how many papers which are cited minimum 10 times so here you can see that two of the papers are cited 10 times more than 10 times so i10 index is 2 now further we can see let's say we take this paper designing of SO based model it shows that cited by 12 the citation for this paper is 12 so just we look, see it so here you get the summary of this paper these are the authors for this paper the journal is acm6 soft it's published in volume number 36 issue 5 and the publisher is acm and the total citations for this paper is 12 when you click on this you will get the list of the researchers who actually cited this paper so here you can see evaluating user interface this is one paper who has cited the paper so if I open this now this paper has been published in IEEE Explore the author for this paper is Lemberg C from Germany so if I download this full paper this is the full text of the paper so here we can see if you go to the reference list You can find here that this is the paper which we were talking of. This paper, A. Sait, H. Agarwal, Designing of SO Based Model, has been referred in the paper. So, we have seen that how to calculate the H index, what are the criticisms associated, what are the advantages. To get more lectures on research, please. Subscribe to Ashish Sait on YouTube. Thank you.